What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're not doing any cooking. Instead, I'm going to show you my outdoor setup. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been getting a ton of questions, messages, DMs on Instagram to see my outdoor setup, to see my grills, to kind of talk about how I use them, talk about the maintenance and how to keep them clean. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. But before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to get all the notifications so you don't miss all my future videos. As many of you know, I live in the Midwest. We cook year round. We put out content every single day. So I needed something to cover my setup while we're cooking prepping and filming we do stuff in the rain in the snow so this gazebo is perfect and it covers my entire cooking and prep area the gazebo is 12 by 14 feet we picked it up at Costco and we built it into the deck to give it more of a custom look but if you're looking for one highly recommend the one from Costco it's super easy to put together and uh, the quality so far has been great before we talk about the grills let's cover the prep area first this entire table was actually built by uh, yours truly I found the plans on Etsy I'll add a link in the description so you guys can check it out but it was super easy to put together bought all the wood from Lowe's and just built it in my garage painted it sealed it and it's perfect for the outside the countertop is a quartz countertop and it's perfect to be outside in the sun in the cold in the, in the rain so this works super well also very easy to maintain the one main thing that I wanted to have is for this thing to be movable since we're filming and depending on the lighting conditions and the weather I wanted to be able to move this thing so I put these large casters underneath it so super movable and it's uh, very convenient to kind of do all the prep all the filming right here on this table and this also serves as a great entertaining and buffet area when we have friends over we'll get the TV on we'll put food out here put a couple bar stools so people can hang out eat drink and it's just a very usable table and on the other side the part that you don't see in the videos is where I keep all my tools and all my storage so I put in a couple shelves that are lined with the same material as our composite decking and again so it's all all very durable and super low maintenance we also have a fan installed at the top of the gazebo because it does get a little smoky here sometimes with uh, with all the grills going and a TV mounted in the corner it's an outdoor rated TV from Sunbright I've got a uh, Amazon fire stick in there which is great for streaming and it's cool when entertaining having friends over have that on and it's just a cool outdoor space next let's go over the grills that I have on my deck and how they are set up first up along the back wall I've got my three big green eggs starting from the smallest mini max the extra large and the large and these are positioned directly behind the prep area because I wanted to make this as functional and as efficient as possible. The outdoor kitchen is my space and I want it to be it as functional as our indoor kitchen so I can prep something on my work surface, turn around and put it directly on the grill or when something's done cooking it's easy to take stuff off and place it on the table and get it ready for serving. The big green eggs are all sitting in these modular nests so these are the tables from big green egg and these are also on casters so you can kind of see the theme following here is everything is movable and you can really configure it depending on what we're doing here. Having the grills be movable also makes cleanup up of the deck easier this is a composite deck so once or twice every year I have to kind of hose everything off clean it off there's a lot of grime and grease that comes out of the grill sometimes when we're cooking so having this be on casters it's super easy to move them out of the way get the power washer out and get the deck nice and clean besides the modular nests from Big Green Egg that the grill sit in I also have these additional modular tables these are also from Big Green Egg and also on casters and these just provide additional storage additional space when cooking prepping and serving next up I've got the Gosney rock box this is the uh, small portable pizza oven from Gosney and uh, this is my newest acquisition and I honestly haven't had a chance to use it yet my plan for the rock box is to take it into my van and take it for mobile grilling events so I can cook pizzas and serve them on the road next up we've got the Weber 28 inch griddle and this is along the right side of my prep area so again I can prep and move easily to the griddle to cook whatever it is that I'm doing this also separates it from the charcoal grills which are the big green eggs on this side and then we've got the gas cookers on this side and last but not least we've got the Gosney dome which is the big pizza oven so this is also on casters and sometimes we move it out from underneath the gazebo when we're doing pizzas because it does get super hot and when we do use it outside the gazebo it is still very easy to access the prep area where we can kind of prep our pizzas do all the toppings and just put them right in the oven and get them going actually there is one less cooker that I forgot to mention and that's my offset smoker that sits all the way in the back of my yard I haven't really been using that thing a lot lately although I've been using it more this summer than in the years past but uh, that's kind of off in the bag because uh, well it does get super smoky and we just don't use it as much as we do all the other grills next up let's do a deeper dive into each grill and why I have it how to use it and how to maintain them so first up we're gonna start with the Gosney dome so this is uh, this thing is a beast it's a huge pizza oven but it's so much more than that I've done steaks in this I've roasted veggies you can use propane gas or you can actually start a, a wood fire inside of it so far I've been using propane just because it's easy quick and uh, very convenient and starting this thing up is uh, is very simple so I've got my propane tank hooked up there's a, a digital display with the uh, temperature 
temperature, which is also super convenient. There's a, a dial on the right side that controls the gas flow and you basically turn this thing over and, uh, and it fires up right inside and then you can get your pizzas going. I've had the Gazni Dome for a little less than a year and uh, I've had a pizza oven before this. This was maybe three or four years ago. I had an Uni, the small portable one. And that thing wasn't, uh, I mean, it worked okay, but it just wasn't very easy to use, not super convenient. Then I saw the dome when this thing was released and it just looked like a very cool awesome pizza oven to have in your backyard and uh this thing has been great i mean besides grilled meats and smoked meats my family especially my kids they love a good pizza and this thing can crank them out like nothing else it's also very spacious inside so you can do nice big pizzas and uh like i said besides pizzas i've done steaks in this we've done uh, focaccia we've done bread so again super easy to use and uh very versatile as far as accessories go there's a couple things i would recommend if you're looking at the dome so first is the stand so when you buy the dome you basically just get this whole top unit if you've got a place in your backyard to place it on uh, that's perfectly fine I did get the uh, stand again it's on casters it's portable and it also has these uh, cool side shelves again great for storage and uh, just makes things easier to uh, to prep and cook on next up is this door so this goes in the front opening and it's cool for helping you retain some of the heat inside and lastly we've got a uh, pizza peel so this is used for putting the pizza dough or the raw pizzas inside the dome and then this little thing which is used for turning the pizzas inside if you're using propane the fire is on the left side of the dome so if you're cooking pizzas you use one of these things to kind of help rotate the pizza so it gets a nice even cook and as far as maintenance goes this thing is uh is again very easy i did buy one of these metal bristle brushes and all i do after i cook some pizzas i just kind of scrape out any flour any leftovers any burnt cheese might be in there right from the uh, from the base and this thing is ready to go. I also have a uh, cover for it. So if it's uh, outside the gazebo, this helps protect it from the elements. So this just goes right on top and your Gazni is covered and protected. Next up, we're gonna talk about the Weber griddle and I'm gonna take it out here. So I get a little better lighting and it's a uh, better visibility. And again, it's on casters also. So super easy to move around and position wherever you want. This is the uh, 28 inch model and it has uh, three burners. And as some of you might know, I've had a, a couple different griddles over the last couple of years from different brands. And I really settled on the Weber because it's just super easy to use. It's uh, nice and portable, doesn't take up too much space. It heats up very quickly. And another great thing is that it's a 28 inch griddle with three burners. So it has great heat distribution and it's nice and even on the uh, cooktop. At home, it's me, my wife and two kids. And this size griddle is perfect when cooking, uh, when cooking at home. So we've done breakfast on these, lunch, dinners, fried rice steaks. I mean, you can scroll through and see all my other videos so this is uh, size wise it's perfect for a family of four to get this started is also very uh, very easy the lid comes right off it does have uh, two brackets on the back so you can just hang it on the back of the cooktop uh, the propane tank hangs on the right side of the griddle top turn on the gas and then just move the dials over and the uh, and the ignition goes off and all three burners are lit. As far as cooking on the griddle goes, it's basically like one giant cast iron skillet. So the main thing to keep in mind is to keep that surface nice and lubricated. I like to use olive oil for that. So anytime that you're cooking, just spread a nice drizzle of olive oil, spread it out, and uh, this thing is ready to go. I do have a bunch of videos of me using this so you guys can scroll through and uh, check all those out. When it comes to accessories, the main thing that you need with a griddle is a good spatula like this one. This one is from Weber. Uh, it's nice, lightweight, nice big size. So it's also great for uh, flipping foods, mixing stuff together great for us uh, smashing uh, beef patties to make smash burgers so the most tool when uh, when you do have a griddle the question that i do get asked the most probably is how to maintain the uh the flat top so it doesn't rust out so you don't get all the kind of cruddy bits on top and the main thing to keep in mind is that you want to clean it right after you're done using it so let's say i'm doing fried rice or barbecue chicken or maybe there's some burnt sauce on the flat top we're going to cook it serve it and then when we're done eating, the flat top is still gonna be nice and warm. So you're gonna take your spatula and then just scrape the top, get all those burnt bits right off. There's a, a nice grease drain right here, which falls right down to the bottom here. And after you're done scraping and all the big pieces are off, you're gonna hit the top with more olive oil. Again, just a nice drizzle all the way around and then just take a paper towel and spread it around. And this thing is gonna be safe and perfect for your next use. But again, main thing to keep in mind is to do this while it's still warm if you let it sit overnight or for a day or two and let it cool off all that stuff is just going to get baked and caked on the top and it's going to be much harder to maintain so remember scrape while it's warm apply oil at the end spread it around 
I need your griddle is going to be perfect and in great shape. And finally, we're going to talk about my favorite cooker that I have, and that is my big green egg. It's a charcoal grill. It's the one that I use the most and the one that I've had for the longest time. Now, over the years, I've gone through a bunch of different grills. My first venture into charcoal grilling was on a Weber kettle, which is awesome. And I still love those grills. And just over the years, worked through a couple different brands, different styles of grills, and eventually settled on the Kamado grill, specifically the Big Green Egg. And this thing has been great. It's a, it's a grill, it's a smoker, it's a versatile cooker that pretty much will do anything in your backyard. I do have a video that kind of goes through my story, goes into more detail on the Big Green Egg and the other grills that I've had. So you guys can check that out. But uh, for now, Let's dive into the Big Green Egg. Being a charcoal grill, the charcoal is the key ingredient and in, uh, when using the Big Green Egg. And I, I like using the Big Green Egg brand one. It's uh, very readily available, the price is good, and it works really well too. So this is great for grilling hot and fast and also for smoking low and slow. This is a lump charcoal and this is what the Big Green Egg uses. This is all natural, it's oak and hickory. And as you can see, it looks more like actual wood than the uh, briquettes that most people are used to. Now this thing burns super clean. It has a nice natural, smoky flavor so you don't really need to add any additional wood chips or wood chunks now you can if you want to but it's really not needed if you just want that nice mild smokiness and it gets super hot which is perfect for grilling and uh, searing doing things like steak or chicken or anything that requires high heat and another great benefit of lump charcoal is that it's reusable so whatever you don't use up you basically shut off the air vents on the big green egg the fire goes out and the next day when you come back or next time that you're using it you just relight it and it's good to go so if you haven't tried lump charcoal in your charcoal grill uh, get a bag and try it out because this stuff is really great starting the big green egg is also very easy i like to use these uh natural speed light cubes so it's one of these guys it's basically this wax coated paper so don't use things like lighter fluid or charcoal starter fluid. It'll make your food taste like gasoline. So this stuff is much better. You basically fill up the big green egg with the coals, drop a couple of these cubes in like this and give it 10, 15 minutes and your grill's ready to go. Now, when it comes to big green egg accessories, there is a whole lot of them and there's a lot of ones that I like to use. So first, and I mentioned this before, are these uh, modular nests. So this one is for the grill itself, again, on casters, making it super movable. And these are side tables gives you more space for storage and they also attach to the big green egg modular nest so you can kind of move everything all together and again being modular you can really build your own setup to how you want it in your backyard the way that i have it set up is i've got the uh, side table the large big green egg another side table and the uh, extra large big green egg so this is the ideal setup where i can kind of put all my food on the top shelves the bottom shelves are used for storage and just keeping things nicely organized uh, and it's just a good workflow when cooking because i can go from one side to the next without getting uh, getting in my own way. When you purchase a new Big Green Egg, you basically get from up here, from down to here. So it doesn't come with a stand or a nest. So those are all optional. And uh, the most important accessory that I can recommend for you guys to get is called a, a plate setter. And that goes inside the Big Green Egg. You also get the grate. So this is again, when you're grilling, searing, doing uh, whatever it is that you wanna cook. And then deep inside is this thing. So this is called the plate setter. It's a, a big ceramic plate. And this creates that indirect cooking zone on the grill. So if you want to smoke or do ribs, brisket, anything that uh, requires indirect heat, anytime I mentioned that in my videos, uh, you basically put this thing in the big green egg, your charcoal burns underneath here. You have this plate creating this shield and then the grate goes right on top. So your food doesn't burn. If you're using saucy foods or fatty foods, this is an absolute must have. Next up on our accessory list is uh, the expander. So uh, this is used to create a dual zone cooking zone. So as you can see, there's the plate on one side and the grate on the other side. So you can cook one thing that requires indirect heat and then finish it off on the direct side. This is also great for uh, doing the reverse sear method on steaks where you can start it on the left side and then move it to the uh, direct heat side to sear it off. Another really nice accessory for the Big Green Egg. One other thing I want to cover accessory wise are these gloves. Uh, you see me use these in my videos a lot of times, you know, definitely not needed, but uh, it does help keep your hands nice and clean, especially when filming or handling uh, dirty and grimy stuff like the, uh, like the accessories that I just showed you. And these I just get on Amazon, cheapest ones you can find, uh, disposable, and uh, these are perfect. While we're on the subject of gloves, these are not really good for handling hot items. Again, it's good for adding charcoal or like removing stuff that's already uh, in a cold big green egg. If you're handling anything that's hot, I recommend these gloves. So these are heat resistant, nice thick fabric gloves, and uh, they are slip resistant, machine washable. Now these are uh, uh, grilling with that gloves. So I make these and I do sell them on my website. So these are perfect 
whenever you're handling hot items on the big green egg, if you want to move a grate or move the uh, plate setter. These are also awesome when handling hot cast iron. I do a lot of cast iron recipes on my big green egg. So anytime I'm moving that, I always got these guys on. Next up, let's talk about big green egg maintenance. I get asked this all the time. And uh, to be perfectly honest, the maintenance is very easy on these grills. So it's a charcoal grill, uh, doesn't have any moving parts, no electric parts, and it's very simple to keep it nice and clean. Starting on the outside, I wash these grills maybe once or twice a year. You know, they do sit under a covered gazebo. Uh, before we had this installed though, they sat outside, open in the elements, uh, you know, in the rain, in the snow. I never had any covers on these and they are very durable. So all that you do, just a little mild soap solution, wash the outside, rinse it off, and the grill is gonna look like new. When it comes to the maintenance inside the grill, there's a couple other things to keep in mind. Being a charcoal grill, there is ash that is left over when the charcoal is burnt, and that collects right here on the bottom. There's a little vent window, and you can use something like this ash tool that has a uh, little hook at the end, and you basically pull all the ash out of there to uh, keep that bottom nice and clean. For a deeper clean, you can also remove the ceramic pieces from inside the big green egg and use something like a shop vac, which I'll do every couple months to really get everything out of there. When it comes to keeping the grate nice and clean, I don't use any wire brushes. I actually still use the same ash tool and this has a, a metal notch on the other end. I'm gonna link this in the description too and just run this over the grate and it's gonna scrape off all the burnt or grimy pieces and get that grate looking super clean. There is one part that is replaceable on the big green egg when it comes to the maintenance and that is the gasket. So on the bottom of the big green egg and on the top there is a felt gasket. So this helps create that nice airtight seal on the grill. Um, obviously the more that you use it, the quicker this thing's gonna wear out. This large big green egg I think is three years old, three or four years old. And again, being used almost every single day and I've replaced this one time. So something to keep in mind that you will have to eventually replace it with normal use, but uh, it is still very durable. And to get the inside of the big green egg super clean, like the inside of the ceramics, of the dome, of the base, you basically get the charcoal fired up you open up the air vents, the one on top, on the bottom, and get this thing as hot as it gets, and all that stuff is gonna burn right off, and it's gonna look brand new. I do have a video on that as well, so you guys can check that out. But uh, again, maintenance-wise, super easy. Clean the coals, scrape the grate, uh, replace the gasket every couple years, and uh, your grill's gonna last you for a lifetime. I've got three big green eggs at home. I've got the large, extra large, and mini max. Now you might be asking yourself, you know, do you need all three? Do you need more than one? So let me just kind of go over real quickly about how I use these guys and uh, which one you should get if you're looking to buy a big green egg. The large, this one here, is the one that I use the most. This is absolutely perfect for everyday grilling, cooking. Uh, it still fits a lot, especially if you add that expander accessory that adds that second rack. Um, I've done six racks of ribs on this thing at once. It can do four pork shoulders. It can handle a lot of meat and this thing is perfect for your everyday grilling. It also doesn't use that much charcoal with the size that it is and is very fuel efficient and, uh, and it also heats up much quicker. Next up, we've got the extra large big green egg. So this is much bigger from the large. Uh, the XL is 24 inches across on the cooking uh, grid, whereas the uh, large is 18 and a half inches. So you get about six inches more uh, across on the extra large and, uh, and it's a lot. This thing is great if you're cooking for a big crowd all the time or if you're catering. Um, you know, anytime that I've got a really big piece of meat, like a large brisket, or I'm cooking a whole lot of ribs, I'll fire this thing up. But uh, I rarely use this for just normal cooking just because it is so big. It uses a lot more charcoal and just takes a lot longer to get it uh, get it heated up. And finally, we've got the Mini Max. So this thing is uh, nice and portable and uh, I use this actually quite a bit. This is perfect if you're doing maybe one or two steaks, uh, one or two chicken breasts, you don't wanna fire up the big grill. It takes uh, just a little bit of charcoal to get it going. And this thing is awesome. It's searing because the grate sits so low to the coals. It also comes with this uh, built-in uh, built handles. So if you're doing any tailgating or camping, you wanna take this thing with you, it's, uh, it's absolutely perfect for that. So that is my backyard setup with all my grills. Hopefully I've answered a lot of your questions uh, that I've been getting. If there's anything else you're curious about, shoot me a message or uh, leave a comment down below. I'm also gonna add links in the description to all the products that I've mentioned, including the grills and a lot of the accessories, so it's easier for you to get them. And uh, that's it for this video. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.